Okay, so after a false start, <laughs> it wouldn't be entirely true to say that I've never played Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles before. I haven't. We did have a false start with this uh, last week. I didn't own this game uh, on an actual console, so we tried to play it on an emulator because I had some concerns about capturing it, which proved to be founded a few minutes ago. Um, but when we played it on the emulator, I only played it for about an hour. I got to the end of the Resident Evil Zero scenario. Uh, we've already played Resident Evil Zero on stream, so there weren't any like story spoilers for me or anything like that. Uh, but I decided not to keep that video because the audio quality was really bad, and, and we kept having uh, like visual hiccups and things like that. So starting over on an actual Wii this time, Fingers crossed that we have no additional uh, video issues. Let's go. Keep an eye, too, on the game volume. I think this one's actually pretty loud. Welcome to the Umbrella Chronicles. Accessing file number 2498114. Baba is Goose and we're golden. <laughs> hey, Bio thank you for the sympathy bits this name. The outbreak occurred in the summer of 1998. It started in the American Midwestern town of Raccoon City and brought hell to Earth. The T virus was I guess, developed to be as a fair to weapon. Capcom, like, proliferating amongst Resident the Evil 4 clearly takes place in Spain. Resident Evil 5, they choose not to say death. which African country it is, just that it's in Africa. I guess they do the same thing when they say that Raccoon City is in a Midwestern town, right? Like, punk is defeat. I'm excited Umbrella's for Untitled Goose Game. statement had always been preserving the health of the people, but beneath this bright statement lurked the shadow of Oswell E. Spencer's ambition. We get more Wesker. Concerning the outbreak incident in Raccoon City. Everybody wants more Wesker, right? The truth behind the rise and fall of Umbrella is something to which only a select few are privy. The beginning of the end started on the outskirts of Raccoon City in the Arklay Mountains. Open with Resident Evil Zero. And like, from playing this last uh, week, the thing we did learn about Resident Evil Zero is that they desperately wanted to retcon a lot of the things that happened in Resident it. Evil. So we'll discuss that as it comes up in the playthrough here. This is just me doing some testing this morning. Normal. Now I won't have the pinpoint precision of a mouse. Also, I'll probably get the intended mechanic. You have to shake the Wiimote to reload in this game. Uh, and the way you shake the Wiimote with a mouse is to press the middle mouse button. I think the intent is it's supposed to disrupt your aim, but it doesn't really disrupt your aim if you're using a mouse, so... For reals this time. So there's a little bit of artifacting from it being on the Wii U instead of the emulator, but it was a stormy night. It looks better the than the issues we were having on the emulator, so Express. Express. now I'm not playing like a fraud exactly. The area I wasn't happy about it. I guess you could technically sync a Wiimote to a PC in case we play a game on Dolphin in the future. And to the stars unit this game was only like Chambers. twenty dollars brand new on Umbrella Amazon, has so been at the center of my plan for a long like time. Like it had shrink wrap and everything. But the train incident would prove to be the beginning of the I guess there's probably millions of copies of Wii games that were from Walmart's stars overstock. Here. Is anybody there? Stars here. Is anybody there? They definitely kind of revise Rebecca's attitude. More consistent with a real shooter. But even in this opening sequence here, we're gonna be here like, yeah, whatever. Screw those guys. Hey, what effects are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I've got it on a Wii U now, so. You're the escaped prisoner, Billy Cohen. It should only take about an hour to get through Resident Evil Zero. Can we Assuming it's not significantly whole harder with the Wiimote. We have bigger things to worry about right now. I don't think this game had a Wii Motion Plus. I was pretty late in the Wii's still in the cycle. 
Wait, the Wiimote, move the Wiimote to change aiming direction, got it. Target articles are on the target, press B to fire, you know, shake to reload. If you have no health, you will die. I'm trying to do that crit thing, but... Up, down to switch weapons. Some weapons have unlimited ammo. Yeah, that definitely makes aiming harder. Yeah, so Umbrella Chronicles is replaying through the story of all the Resident Evil games released up to that point as a rail shooter. I'm trying to like summarize them. Wii's pretty Worry tough to stream, because it's like right before uh, everything was in HD and right before everything started to be preserved permanently as a digital purchase. You can go further back from that and like trivially emulate all of it, right? It's easy to emulate stuff on the Super Nintendo. Let's head upstairs. They're on the stairs they too. do some story retconning in this too, which we'll see coming up here in a bit. So it's like what they wished Resident Evil had been, I guess. They had the hindsight of making all the games. It's moving. Who's driving this thing? So I think that this is like the I'll final canon out. on what happened in those games. Find out. Maybe just being less horrific. There are a couple like DOS box games that are pretty tough to stream, Spikey, that I've had to do in um, Virtual Machine. Like Syndicate was pretty rough. Alright, this makes way more sense when you're actually waggling the Wiimote. Never made the files. No, I'm okay with them doing some retconning. There were some really questionable things in the earlier Resident Evil titles, especially the thing that they retcon about Resident Evil Zero. So if they're just kind of highlighting, these are the things we think were important from those games, right? Hey! The audio doesn't, like, scream whenever a grenade goes off. And the frame rate doesn't dip. Living the dream over here. Aid sprays are fairies now. Here too. We don't have much choice but to keep going. I'm actually interested in how Wesker's gonna tie in the story of like Resident Evil Zero and Code Veronica, which kinda seem disconnected from the rest here? of the series. Beats me. Never seen anything like this. Especially Code Veronica. I was really struggling with the QTEs in the emulator version of this game. I wonder if that's going to not be the case as much. We did fight Wesker. It was an event. I think this game was technically released like right before five. I'm not sure if five is going to be included. Watch your step, princess. Don't call me princess. <laughs> That's a really good question that affects. I've always not been a fan in video games of like pretending like it's a camera in the first person view. Like I love Bioshock, but Bioshock opens with you rising out of the water and like water droplets fall off of the glass on the camera, and it's like. I think they're doing it because it's cinematic, right? Right. But you don't actually have to have a camera in video games, which makes it special. It's not a deal breaker, but it definitely makes me raise my eyebrow when I see it. Yeah, if it's third person, that's fine, implying that there actually is a camera. There's like a diegetic camera in a couple games, like um, Mario 64, right? Like the camera is literally Lakitu following you around. 
part of that was just like we needed to explain to gamers what this newfangled camera thing is. All right, dogs. How did that get here? That's a really good question. I didn't really think about that in the first game. So get up. Fall back. Bitten by a zombie, counterattack will be displayed. And how exactly did you get here? I was being transported when we were attacked by monsters. All the guards were killed. So you figured it was the perfect chance to make your escape. There's like secret pickups there. Not on yeah. my watch. I just saved your ass back there. You still want to arrest me? You know he is. Hey, I shot you on the ground a second ago. Rude. I think I'm actually having an easier time with the controller than I was with the mouse. Reloading is a little bit harder, but... The mouse is trying to emulate the kind of weird way that the uh, Wevo translates across the screen. Rude. Plenty of time to grab that. Fine. I said earlier, I'm really interested to see like how the knife ends up working in every other game, because it seems to only really affect stuff that's on your screen, right? Zapper, right? All those crazy, like, Wii era peripherals that didn't do anything. They just, like, put your Wiimote into a holster. Now it looks like a fishing rod. Your grandpa probably bought this for you. Something's above us. Time to fall back. You think so? I kind of like the feel of having to waggle to get them to leave you alone. All right. You're kind of like panicking, right? He means well. All right, this boss fight was kind of brutal. Because I wasn't able to do any of the QTEs on the emulator, so... It's interesting to see what Capcom thinks are the highlights of each of these games, right? The whole train sequence is actually pretty cool. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. There we go, that worked much better. That's much easier. My guess is that on the with a, a mouse, like you think you're just supposed to press the button, but they want you to like shake it crazily until it lets you dodge. You all right? 
Oops. No, I think when you use the mouse emulator on um, Dolphin, you said it so when you press the middle mouse button, it, it triggers waggle. Because waggle on the Wiimote was a binary thing. It was like you're either waggling or you aren't, right? Much better. I think I got like a C or a D rank on PC. Shotgun, medkits, memo on the founding of Umbrella. It would do a thing where it would like shake the cursor diagonally and then it would make the accelerometer do one thing. Super weird. Customize means upgrade your items, but it's like, okay. Interestingly, it seems like you get more points the better you're doing, which gives you more guns, which makes you do better. So it kind of has that like gradius difficulty curve where it's like, as long as you're kicking ass, it gets progressively easier to continue to kick ass. I'm gonna stunning twist from the main Resident Evil games. Rapid fire guns are really good and shotguns are actually kind of bad. Becca and Billy engaged the brake and halted the runaway train. The massive force created ended up derailing it. The pair barely managed to escape with their lives. Lying in front of them was the demolished umbrella facility. Come on. These are new cutscenes for Umbrella Chronicles. So I am excited to see them do this, these kinds of graphics for the older games that didn't get remade yet. Like, Nemesis would be interesting to see. Roger. So I'm guessing you need a bodyguard, right? No. Do you? Oh, new Rebecca. Oops. Do you like the music in here? Burning zombie! Get off me! Very nice. A sewer. I guess real shooter secrets. I'm supposed to be looking for things that are shootable all over the place. Wish you had infinite pistol ammo in the main series. You basically do in like Resident Evil 4 and 5, but. I think the Resident Evil 1 remake did the best job of uh, making ammo conservation a thing. Part of that game was like, you know, sometimes you want to go out of your way to very accurately get a headshot so that you don't have to deal with the uh, zombie respawning later. Just in case, we better check upstairs. Because they can't really do the, the crimson head zombies in this one. The Umbrella Management Training Facility. The first general manager, James Marcus. You know him? Just the name. He's been dead for some time now. Friendly looking guy. 
Even Daddy has quite a presence. Attention! Lance repeatedly did his dead. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. A weird thing to say. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. That's the company motto? Unity breeds power. Can't reach that thing. Hate leads to su suffering. It's like if that's your company motto, like who all at Not Umbrella way. is having a "Are we the baddies?" moments. So Yoda's not super consistent with his tick. Speech we clerk. Them. We're going through. Did you just hear Billy? He said, forget them, we're going through. I actually need that. <laughs> we sure Umbrella is actually a company and not a cult that actually like I feel like there have to be like regular boring um, like back office people involved with Umbrella right not, not everyone is a super evil cultist like, they've got to have an HR department okay well HR is a bunch of super evil cultists. Are they gonna have like IT? That's why we shoot all. Oh, oh, I guess there's a shotgun hidden in there. That's cool. Apologies to anyone who works in HR. I'm really not clear on how the headshot system works in this game. I think it's like, sometimes for enemies, if you leave the cursor on their head for a minute, it gives you a headshot option. But I don't think it's consistent. Oh right, monkeys. Spoilers if you didn't watch the Resident Evil Zero playthrough. The entire purpose of this area is to deal with zombie baboons. We have to find another way. Yeah, let's go back. I do think that this series manages to do a small amount of horror through, like, going around corners and not being able to control the view angle when you do that. Rebecca! Then it spoils it with a cutscene, Hold right? Pretty cool. I didn't notice him use his handcuff as a uh, Thank you. brass knuckles. Billy, I'm sorry, but I have to know. Did you really kill 23 people? Yes. We were ordered to attack the village. Orders don't justify slaughtering innocent people. That wasn't really an answer. So, what happened in that village? <laughs> they just had this story conversation while we were fighting these things. It's like, it's super chill. But no, I can't talk about it. Because we're being attacked by zombie apes. Or baboons. I don't know the difference between different primates. 
What good would it do? It won't change the past. If you don't want to talk about it, I'll understand. See how soft spoken she is while this is happening? I think the implication is that they had this chat before we got out here. to work together if we want to make it out of this. Even yeah, <laughs> Rebecca and Billy first. have figured out how little danger they're in. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. It's nothing to worry about. It's a real shooter. Just like this is a cool little horror moment. Turn a corner like that, and the character looks in completely the wrong direction. I wonder if you can stop the thing from spawning by killing enough of the leeches. Probably not. Grenade! An elevator! This'll get us up. Oh, fuck. Switch guns. I love that hit stun thing that they do. Cool music. Oh, there's a secret uh, first aid spray in there. Breaking all the lights seems like a good idea. Can't end badly for me in any way. I'm not really gonna do it. We need to like make a counter for every time the character turns around for no reason so that we can have a sudden spooky turnaround moment. Screw you, bench. Could have been a bench with a secret in it. The main issues I was having when we were doing this on the emulator were whenever the character would do a quick 180, and that happens a lot. Item over here somewhere. There it is. Shotgun ammo, cool. I don't know if there's a reason to shoot out all the lights, but it gives you an upgrade oh, or something. It smells like the zoo. because one of the characters is like in a uh, cage during it or something. So many monkeys. Solve the puzzle, just shoot it to death. And we joked about that last episode of like 
in a rail shooter, your only way to interface with the world is to shoot at it. Sort of like with uh, Driver San Francisco, where you can do all sorts of quests and stuff, as long as you can achieve those quests through driving. Get off my face! That time. Nice. We made it outside. Oh, it's bad time. Are you all right, Rebecca? Yeah. <gasps> Something's coming! Not every game. Um, there's a couple ones that have a pretty low Metacritic score. We're trying to do beat every awesome game. So we probably won't be doing Dark Side Chronicles. My understanding is it's not all that different from Umbrella Chronicles. But we're doing all the main numbered titles. A couple of the spin-offs, like Revelations. Code Veronica. Good chunk of the way there so far. Camera is shaky in Dark Side. Yeah, so what is the difference between Umbrella Chronicles and Dark Side Chronicles? Like, just different scenarios that you're playing through, or...? Well, I guess we got the RE2 remake already, after playing the 1998 game, which is pretty good. Get a clear shot. What now? Climb up the ladder. We have to go up. Right. Oh, so it's like the subject matter of the games? I got you. I don't know yet if there's anything new in this one. Shotgun we actually don't want for this fight. Yes. Turn your head in not the direction the wings flapping noise is coming from. There you go. Look down to find the scary flying bat monster. This is funny because it's such a boss fight. It's difficult to find a physical copy. I'll have to go back through our sheet. The stream focuses on games with a high Metacritic score, so... Any of them that scored higher than a 75 are probably playing by default. I know there's a couple pretty bad spinoffs. Umbrella Chronicles seems perfectly competent so far. Customize? It's like, sure, if you want to call it that. The 
episode three. Billy and Rebecca discovered a ropeway under the church, a huge bat habitat, and rode it down to a factory. Deep within, the two found the true source of the monsters. I'll bet we'll find the source of the problem down there. Let's go. They skip like most of Resident Evil <laughs> Zero. Yeah, it gets interesting again once you run into oh, Leech Sephiroth. damage from them every time I ran into them in Resident Evil Zero. At least with a real shooter you have a chance to like deal with them and try to stun lock them for a second. Okay, the shotgun's not bad against them at least. We can get down using this. Why I was trying to shoot these guys, game. Yeah, I really don't know how the critical hit system works in this. There, it's giving me a little flashing dot there occasionally. He might be immune to them because he has a construction hat. So he puts safety first. Should have put safety first. Oops. Didn't waggle enough. Wholly insufficient waggle. Just RNG as to whether you get a pitch up. I think that's how it is in the base games. In this one, there's supposed to be like some kind of like flashing red dot if you hold the cursor over their heads, but you don't have a lot of time to respond on it. Oh, it blew up. I didn't know that was a thing they could even do. Nicely on living the dream. Not really. But I've got a first aid spray, and then I'm going to be really screwed when uh, Mr. Tyrant shows up. That's why I'm trying to save my grenades. It's probably a bad idea. It's fine. The original PT proto tyrant guy. Whoops, that was a mistake. If I had survived the uh, imp or not imp, leech monsters maybe. I wonder if she gets free grenades when she does that, too. Come here, dude. I'm ready for you. Like, it cuts to Proto Tyrant just, like, tapping her on the shoulder. What's up? It's a 
really good question. You're asking the right questions. Here it comes. Hey, Kabo, how you doing? Curious, I assume part of this fight is scripted. Like, you have to be able to see the boss for a while. Yes, here too. In the elevator. It's ridiculous, I know. Your ghost emoji and your name keeps spooking me, Yukupo. But look in Discord, like, ah! Huh? It spooked me so much it made me reload. are the worst in the actual game. They're quite a bit more tolerable in this one than in Resident Evil Zero. But they seem to have lost their weakness to fire. Or at least fire is not a thing in the main game yet. Ah, <laughs> Bukupo. Everything's fine. Screw you, light bulbs. Totally died here when we were trying this on the emulator. Almost caught up to where we were before we quit playing on the emulator. I just popped the battery, Leon. It's like a muscle memory for me now. That's the guy from the picture. Back cover. Yeah, so this is the retcon from Resident Evil Zero. Ten years ago, Spencer had me assassinated and stole all of my research. He's just a scary, gross, like booger monster now. But in Resident Evil Zero, he was like a sexy Sephiroth bishy. Like, he used the power of the leeches to make himself look like a sexy bishy guy. The virus fused with the leeches and brought me back from the darkness of death. I love lines like The T virus fused with the leeches. You're like, I will have my revenge on Umbrella. And the world will burn in an inferno of hate. It's a, it's a, I guess that makes sense, line. Like, it's not unreasonable that he could turn into a sexy, bishy, Sephiroth leech monster, because they show that he can, like, change forms. But it's just silly, because... Why? Why would this old dude in the Midwestern U.S. want to look like Sephiroth? I think I got it. I'm gonna save some of these rounds, I think. Just being his best self. Damn, it's not working. I thought I'm trying to remember Resident Evil Zero. This is where we had to like pour acid on him or something, like using the co-op mechanic. Downplaying the cultural impact of FF7. It was so impactful, it even affected like 70-year-old dudes. In the early 2000s. A oh, new Stardew Valley? Batch, that's good. What's supposed to be in it? Is Stardew Valley just kind of been like, it's going to get additional content forever, or have they announced how long they intend to add new stuff to it? I 
somehow. I think my reload phase is like exactly the opposite of what it needs to be to stop him from hitting me. This room looks a lot. There's a room in Code Veronica that you go to as Claire. And it's like one of the only rooms in all of Resident Evil that has a zombie in it that never gets up and attacks you. Uh, but then you come back as Chris and they get up and attack you. What the hell is that thing? Billy, be careful! It's catching up! I got it! Aim for the mouth! Which mouth? monster doesn't know when to give up! I'm out of ammo. Keep my reloads in phase of when I have to knock him back, right? Yes. Okay, At this point forward, we're actually blind. This is the stuff that we tried doing in Dolphin before I was like, the compatibility glitches are too bad. Oh, wait, no, there's still another phase. I forgot about this light shit. Let's do this, and then it will be true. Okay, new guns would be really nice. Like that was lucky. phases that it does those QTE attacks? I'm not sure. This is especially interesting because so many of these games, like the way the gunplay worked, you couldn't really aim for a weak spot, right? You kind of would just take control, turn to aim, and then hope you hit them. Nice dodge. There's like ammo scaling in this game, like there is in Resident Evil 4 and 2. Because, like, when I got to this boss fight in uh, when we were doing it before on the emulator, I had way more resources because I wasted more of them before the Nemesis fight. Or not Nemesis, Tyrant. Do 
Let me give that a try. Oh, hey, it worked eventually. Good looking out, Liam. Told it like 10 seconds. I guess it's time to say goodbye. I try not to press that button on PC because if you tap it, it pulls up like the Xbox game bar or something. It makes a super loud desktop noise. Officially, Lieutenant Billy Cohen is dead. Rebecca, thank you. So let me take some evidence that you're not dead. Well, I guess maybe that's what she means. I found his dog tags. The game is very Final Fantasy X-ish. The pair overcame impossible odds and made it out alive. Yeah. Wesker but sounds like he's fun. impressed. Since the event, Billy Cohen has gone missing. While Rebecca is about to enter a new nightmare as she heads for the mansion. See, now that's interesting, because that's not covered in the text of Resident Evil Zero. That's cool, Van. At least they still offer it on uh, the PSN, so you don't have to track down a physical copy, like you do for the Wii. Wesker's scenario beginning, this chapter one is now available. Okay, so that's as far as we got before I was like, let's bail out on the simulator thing. Everything from this point forward, I have no idea what to expect other than the fact that it's mostly playing through scenarios that we already played in the previous Resident Evil games. The blood glows orange in the PS3 version? What's that all about? Any idea why? Incident. That was the night I led the Stars Alpha team into the Arclay Mountains, and we touched down in the surrounding woods. We were to look into the disappearance of Brothel team. At least, that was the fate. The reality oh. was quite a different story for the unsuspecting members of the Alpha team. After being attacked by a pack of monsters, only Chris and a few others, including myself, made it to the mansion. Everything was going according to plan. <laughs> See, that's Wesker. Everything's going according to plan. Even when he's getting shot in the face. Exactly as planned. I wonder what Resident Evil 1 memes are going to keep in this, because they cut a lot of them in the remake. What was that? Also, maybe someone can help me, but I'm not super clear on what the plan was in Resident Evil 1. I'll come with you. All right. I will stay and secure the area. Oh, Wesker. Like, I get that they wanted the players to be betrayed by one of their party members, but like, why... Why did they want to do that to the STARS team? STARS was already investigating Umbrella, so they wanted to, like, eliminate them with plausible deniability so that they'd stop getting investigated? Oh man, shadow of his former self. Oops. It's cool they recreated that shot again. I guess they did it in the remake too. No, we're too late. What's going on? That's a good question, Jill. Hey, this is a safe room. We're in here too. We need to get out of here. It is kind of impressive that they redid all this in full 3D, instead of with the pre-rendered backgrounds. For fixed camera angles, I think Yukubo was saying that it was probably all actually rendered in 3D, but. What are these things? I don't know if they had every camera angle covered. Let's 
cool you can see the typewriter here. It is fun to wonder, like, when they did Resident Evil 1, was it their intent in their mind's eye that there were, like, this many zombies in the mansion? And it was Western. just, like, a restriction of the PS1 that there were only a couple? So I feel like Resident Evil 1 worked really well with only a few enemies. Chris. They found some trickery for it in Resident Evil 2, because even that was a PS1 game, and it had, like, a factor of 10 more zombies. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Wesker was trying to prove that they were it's good. Locked. We have to find another way. Behind you! I'm still not super clear on Umbrella's profit model. I guess maybe, like, zombies are a loss leader? This they lose their money good. on zombies, we and they make all their money on, like... Maybe we'll find some of the others along the way. Uh, fountain drinks or something. Alright guys, go ahead and get up. They turn into liquors. So many of them. I know that like punching the boulder is pretty funny and classic in Resident Evil 5, but I still can't get over the line that's like these fucking customers. <laughs> Like, they're not happy that they turn into mindless monsters. They'd really like them to keep their, uh, mental faculties. It's not great for the market, you, you think? Hey, Dog Hallway. Although they subverted Dog Hallway in both the I'll check it out. RE1 remake and when you come back here in Resident Evil 5. Is this, this might be, I don't know if it's the most iconic moment in all of Resident Evil. No, well, I was not expecting that to be a, uh, a QTE. Maybe not the most iconic moment, but it might be the most iconic gameplay sequence. Maybe that in like the liquor hallway in Resident Evil 2. That was one that I even knew about without having played the game. Chris, I can feel something's close. All right, bulletproof grat, bulletproof glass. Not zombie proof. That with damage sometimes. It's got to be at least one shotgun behind one of those pictures, right? It makes perfect sense. So this isn't the hunter area. There's like a save room under the staircase. I think that's a different staircase I'm picking up though. Oh great, Crimson Head. This one's quick. Yeah, he's different from the others. I think from a horror perspective, that's been one of their best ideas in the series. Like the way it changed the player behavior was so cool in the RE1 remake. I'm shocked they didn't keep it around. I feel like they already kind of wanted to create an atmosphere where you're deciding whether or no not it's kid. worth the resources to kill a zombie or run away from it. But I feel like the, the Red Crimson Heads are the only one that actually made that work. 
Things just keep getting stranger and stranger, but I think you're right. I heard something coming from this room. I'm gonna open the door. Oh yeah, the puzzle room. The weird, like, poison? Umbrella likes obtuse puzzles, cranks. Spend all their money on that sort of thing. It's interesting, Umbrella Chronicles looks fine, but like, oh geez, that was scary. Uh, like, the Resident Evil 1 remake actually still looks good today. Like if you told me it was made today, I'd believe you. Maybe it was just because it had the fixed camera angle, so it could do a lot of, like, red lighting tricks. Baking everything in, you know? All right, one remake was GameCube, right? Bats. Oh no, birds. That's right. I thought we already killed them. They're coming this way. That's fun. So at least they're referencing the fact that they're coming back. We're sharpening. I'm guessing it just has to do with it being fully 3D. Have you made contact with Bravo team? No, I can't reach them. Let's look for survivors. Like some of the scenes, the the lighting in Resident Evil One Remake was incredible. Hang back! I'll handle this. Coming while is reloading. And I'm dead. <laughs> you are dead. Try not to reload after the bird's there. See how far back that sets me. I actually don't remember where this is. Textures are downgraded in this. Oh wow, no, this is pretty far back. Okay, don't die next time. We ended up playing Zero and the There's One remake on PC. We seem to no get age just fine. I don't think this is just someone's summer home. This is the area where all of those murders happened. There's got to be some connection. Things just keep getting stranger and stranger, but I think you're right. I heard something coming from this room. I'm gonna open the door. Behind me, you got to spawn now, right? Oops. 
Okay, I dodged that that time. That helps with the damage I'm taking. Nice. Oh, and I, and I had to fight him last time in addition to taking damage. Okay. Sonic the Hedgehog will always be uh, Jaleel White to me. I thought we already killed them. They're coming this way. Much better. Have you made contact with Bravo team? No, I can't reach them. Let's look for survivors. Is there only ever been one Wesker, or is it just someone that's trying to sound like the Resident Evil 1 Wesker? Because I feel like it's the same voice actor. Oh, I was reloading again. I have more health this time, though. They're just all doing an impression, basically. That's impressive. Forest. No, not like this. Sorry, Forest. I need your grenade launcher. He had maybe. I'm trying to remember. Then he was like a boss on you. I'm sorry, Forest. I'll miss our target practice sessions. <laughs> oh man. You get Wesker on the line? There's still no response. I hope everyone's all right. Wesker in the remake in Code Veronica, I see. So I feel like Resident Evil 1 Remake is the most successful at being horror-themed. And so far, I feel like that's true for uh, Umbrella Chronicles as well. I guess we'll see how far it goes, but Resident Evil Zero is kind of like Wild West cowboy shooter-ish, for lack of a better word. Some pretty good jump scares in this, though. Yeah, especially the crimson heads are freaky in this. Hey, we got one critical hit. It doesn't seem like it's worth fishing for crits though, because you need to like stagger them. Can you all not though? Like, I can't crit this guy for whatever reason. Take that. Ah. All right, her having a taser makes more sense. Rebecca would just, like, put a grenade in their mouth. It's like, where'd she get that grenade from? Oh, yeah, the weird painting puzzle room. The original version of the game was localization that? was weird. Check it out. Oh, are they writing Rebecca into the mansion? That's kind of cool. It would make sense. You 
ready for snack, probably. What the hell? What's the thing? It's, I bet it's a big snack. Even if they aren't, if that thing gets a hold of us, we're screwed. Get around it and keep your distance. Right. I'll try. In this rail shooter. Miss the opportunity to interrupt it there. Yeah, it's like all about having your reload in a good uh, phase with the enemy's attack so you can interrupt them, right? Launcher would be nice here. I'm about to die. I'll have to try it again. I don't think I can stop it from hitting me again. Yep. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a timing thing. Maybe it's having like the uh, submachine gun ammoed up for that part. Let's see how far back it sets me here. What in the hell? Oh, that's what nice the of them. I bet they're poisonous. Even if they aren't, if that thing gets a hold of us, we're screwed. Get around it and keep your distance. Right. Yeah, I think I just need to save my uh, submachine gun for. When it's coming to attack me. Great. This one's tougher than I expected. Try shooting it. What were you expecting when you saw a giant fucking snake? <laughs> oh, Chris. That's the one you basically need to have the submachine gun on to interrupt, I feel like. Yeah, keep on it. Working on it. Might take me a couple more tries on this one. I really do think I have to save my submachine gun for specific phases here. Be okay, I have access to some healing. It's wounded. Now's our chance. Jill, the ladder. We were pretty close to this. Oh, there's another healing item up here. That's a bummer that I died then. Ha! 
That's great. Part of the fun of adaptation, right? Chris Redfield from Alpha Team. This is kind of cool. I'm down with Alpha this. I'm surprised they didn't do it in Resident Evil Zero. Everything's okay now, Richard. Is it though? We're gonna get a D. No, I'll take a B. I need to be destroying more objects, apparently. Rebecca Scenario Nightmare Chapter 1 is now available. Customize. Uh, what's Outer Worlds? We'll save for the 4 upgrade. Leaving Rebecca to care for Richard. Oh. I like all of those words. I haven't played Fallout New Vegas yet. We've done Fallout 1, 2, and a couple hours of 3. I'm glad those two we'll see if okay. it keeps to the obsidian tradition. To Hopefully it's like actually we'll finished. Enough ammo and medicine to protect themselves. I'm still worried. We have to find a way to make contact with someone on the outside. Definitely. Hmm. I wonder what happened to Wesker. We need to find the others. Right. Let's hurry. The general fan opinion on New Vegas is that it's like the best modern Fallout, right? There's a path on the other side of the water. If we open the floodgate, we should be able to cross. This is a pretty legit take on Resident Evil 1 so far. Resident Evil 0 skipped a lot of stuff, but we're not going to be doing any puzzles. We had more than enough time to finish it for once. Nice. Is this is a remix of an RE1 track. I didn't really feel like any of the Resident Evil music stuck out to me. Like, it was functional, but in the way that, like, you know, an MCU soundtrack is functional. Whereas, like, uh, Silent Hill, the, uh, Akira Yamaoka, his, his shit <laughs> still freaks me out. The reviews of Outer Worlds haven't mentioned bugs? Holy shit. I really like Obsidian games. Like, Minnesota Republic 2 is really good. I really liked Alpha Protocol. But I've heard that Fallout New Vegas is super buggy. I just associate them with, like, really good ideas and not enough time to finish things. This is actually a pretty cool track. New Vegas was really rushed. Yeah, that sounds right. So is Knights of the Republic 2. Like, there's one planet that you can tell they worked on first because it's really in-depth and has a ton of content, and then, like, every other planet is a quarter of that content or less. And the game kind of just ends. Uh, 
Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool, and sure, I'm excited for it, but we won't play it until it ends up on the voting spreadsheet, but... I don't know if it would be necessary to play Fallout New Vegas first. You should probably finish three. I hear four is okay. But a lot of folks weren't too happy about it. We're good. Zombie, you so goofy. Looks like there are two ways to go. Which one should we take? Let's go inside the waterfall. Residence is pretty spooky. That's cool. If you guys want to tell me how it is, if you think it's a must play, I'd be excited to try it. The idea of a finished, not buggy obsidian game just sounds like the best of all worlds. It's like, this is only so good because they couldn't spend the money or the time to polish it, right? It'd be like if you could get a Quentin Tarantino movie with a satisfactory ending. I joke, he's had some decent ones. Oh, Hunters, right! Right, they're down here. Why did I come down here? Kill the one is a satisfactory ending because it's not the end of the story. Trying to know good and bad it is of being any plot details. Just punch it, Chris. Oh, Chris, that's his character arc. This is before he roided out and started punching boulders. There's a reason they let me shoot that thing, right? Maybe not. Maybe I just wasted a bunch of... <laughs> he says as he stares at the giant spider. Okay, there we go. I think they just timed that dialogue a little late. It's funny. What's happened? It's covered in webs! That has to have been like a voice direction thing where they like planned on them walking in the room and then the spider dropping down. <laughs> that was too funny. We can use the crates to climb out here. Oh, okay, that's a different exit. What happened? It's covered in webs! Where are we? Looks like we ended up in another building. Is this the residence? Are we gonna get to see it anywhere? Every gun must be fired. I guess it's especially true in a real shooter, but... I wish there were some zombies that just, like, never interacted with you. Just pounding on the window. So Crusader Kings is in the, like, nebula genre. I can never keep track of, like, what kind of game is it? Is, is it, like, a 4X game? Is it, like... Heroes of Might and Magic. There's a bunch of games like that, like you grew up with Universalis that I've never played, but I don't know exactly what kind of game it is. Grand Strategy. Ok, 
guy in the bed not gonna get up? Oh man, they might be doing it. All right, a gun that's not firing. Famous spreadsheet. Is it turn-based, like Civ? Oh, God. They've done a really good job. I'm actually really impressed with the uh, Umbrella Chronicles take on Resident Evil 1. Like, it seems faithful so far. And they've chosen the right enemies to, to jump scare you, right? The ones that are actually dangerous. Like a jump scare of a regular zombie or some uh, leeches is not really going to cut it. Oh god, there's way too many of you guys. Should not be using the pistol on you at all, apparently. Grand RPG. Oh, that's interesting. And that's new to the Crusader Kings franchise? Oh, it's the water effect. Okay. No, I forgot about this. God damn it. Look out! It's coming right at us. Can it not, please? Even on rails, sharks are well, not sharks, just underwater. Anything that freaks me out. Poop it in the nose. Just spend as much time as you can out here. <laughs> we did this section in uh, the RA1 remake. I just rushed through this room. I don't think I even shot any of them. We've had one branch so far, and I think it ended up taking us to the residence anyway. Oh, I think I skipped a cutscene on accident. I thought I was about to have to shoot, so I pressed the trigger button. Guess we fell through the floor. I haven't played any House of the Dead games. I played Typing of the Dead, which was a delight. I guess Resident Evil Zero really didn't have any iconic bosses to do. You have to shoot the goop away? <laughs> oh, it's a real shooter. There must be something we can do. Jill, aim for that flower. Resist. Not clear on whether grenades need to be aimed in this. Be careful. I'm sure it's dangerous. You think so? You better be careful too. Get the healing. Goober? I'm on the wrong side of the healing this time, unfortunately. It's like on the other side from here. There we go. Hey, you gave it to me that time. Thanks, game.
Now we're on the other side, but I already grabbed a healing from here. It grabs me real quick when I get up there. Maybe I can stop that from happening or something. If I like shoot the vine. shoot that to interrupt this attack so I can do more damage up there. I'm gonna get hit on time for this for sure. Really? Maybe it no longer had a hurt box after that. Than one shot of killing it. That's a pretty cool interpretation of that boss. I think what my favorite Resident Evil bosses are. There's some weird ones in Code Veronica. Hey, C rank. C's get degrees. Try playing as Chris. Let me try to customize. I think I can now. Do I have to like go further back though? Hold on. Oh no. Here we go. Customize. D plus power increase. Customization level maxed out. Cool. Alright, let's do it. Sounds good. Putting off an army of monsters, Christian Jill is stumbled upon a hidden underground research facility. It's no doubt Wesker was here. Nothing too punishing graphically. Old school RuneScape, no. <laughs> Not if you value. Something big was going down here. I got a bad feeling about this. Be careful. So, like a Han Solo bad feeling about it, like adventure. Yeah, so like I didn't get any crit opportunities there. So maybe you are right, Vicky. It was just a uh, random chance. While you're doing headshots, you can't really like fish for it. I can understand if it was like a uh, risk reward thing. Nice knife to the face. Like you stop from staggering them to try to go for the headshot. I'm too mouse action focused. Hmm. Loaded up with uh, emulators. I should stop trying to fish for crits, it doesn't really matter. It's 
dead science man. Do they like specifically remove their genitals? His umbrella corporate prudes. Hey, he got up and now he's a red crimson head. This where everyone else is? I'm sure of it. Let's hurry. Whoa, buddy. Slow it way down. Yeah, the submachine gun feels OP in this game because it causes them to stagger. Pretty good. We shooters were pretty good at the time. I think I prefer the uh, the switch's gyro aiming is like a you aim with the stick and then you can make slight adjustments with the gyro. That feels close to a mouse in a lot of cases. Yeah, it got much better once they switched to the oh these fucking things. I forget they're called chimeras or something. They suck though. They switched to using the Wii Motion Plus, which is actually super confusing for a lot of people in, um... Oh, I was reloading. Super confusing for a lot of people in Skyward Sword, because Skyward Sword does not use the sensor bar at all. But if you think it does, it's very confusing. Umbrella pays attention to me in this one. I'm out of reloads. Six in this room. The power's out. There must be a switch. There's a lot of fast, threatening enemies in RE1. Like so. Those guys are way less tanky than they were in the RE1 remake. Yeah, I struggled a lot with Skyward Sword until I realized that the sensor bar didn't matter, that you could unplug it and the game would still work. It kept not behaving the way I was expecting it to until then. But you could like be facing orthogonal from your TV and it works fine. I think that was a mistake on Nintendo's part to not make that obvious. To like, even just have a thing on the screen that says, we're using the Motion Plus now, guys. All right, grenades. Yeah, too much of the sword controls. This is where they control the power. Let's get it up and running. Not yeah, working. Press the make it work button. Project runway. Oh, should have been reloading there. I feel like what distinguishes a horror rail shooter from any other rail shooter is try to not reload at exactly the wrong time. That sucks. Stay back. 
I'll try. I'll try to dodge them next time. Herb would be really nice right about now. There's so many of them now, compared to the actual remake. Reloading. <laughs> I didn't notice that at all, that's funny. I'm gonna get a herb in the very next room, aren't I? After I just wasted my... Fairy. Thought so. It's a really big lowercase a. Everyone just wants a hug. Chris and Jill appear to be invulnerable. I don't want to spoil her on this, but as far as I know, no main series like protagonists have ever been zombified. In Resident Evil. What you been up to, sir? Right, are we gonna have to fight Wesker? This is the um, Yakety Sax room. You have to fight Tyrant by running in circles. Reload and change weapons. You grab a new gun from your waistband or behind your shoulder. Oh, that's cool. I feel like it justifies VR. Crash, you make me proud. Crash, Wesker. <laughs> yeah. It was an excellent night for collecting data on Umbrella's biological weaponry and its performance against trained flesh and blood combatants. That is a clawsy fucking sentence. Set the team up. Excellent deduction, Jill. That was okay. Umbrella's intention anyway. However, I don't need them anymore. The ultimate life form. Tyrants. It's beautiful. He's fine. But I think Resident Evil 5 is like there are multiple Weskers or something. I don't know. They brought him back. Root cage is four anyway. No, Proto Tyrant looks scarier. Like that I can't believe it. All of this was his doing. No time to worry about that now. We have to. No, he doesn't have a health bar, right? Wow, you really didn't like grenades. self-destruct device. We better get out of here now. That's what rib cages are for. I see. You should like stomp its head or something. I'm not gonna make the heart rate monitor spike, so I don't have it on, but they do some pretty good jump scares in this. There aren't very many in Resident Evil in general.
Can maybe grab it. Plug it back in, apparently. There she blows. That's just tachycardia. This is Brad. If there's anyone alive, Brad, me now. Brad. our first helicopter friend. I'm at the heliport, but I'm running out of fuel. This is your last chance. Yeah, you shoot out lights. The heliport. This way. Okay. Oh, I have a shotgun. That's why I'm not shooting as fast as I thought I was. That was a good one right there. That's also a good one. Yeah, they really nailed Resident Evil 1. The lights appears to be a significant part of your score at the end. Now we're running. Oh, well, that works. Got infinite supply of knives. And poor umbrella electrical technician. I remember Trauma Center. I remember when I got a Wii, that was the first time that I had expendable income because I had a I had just gotten a job and I had just moved out. So I wasn't helping to pay bills at my parents' house anymore. So I bought like every Wii game that I could get my hands on, even some really bad ones. I wish Elibits was a good game. Also, every original DS game. <laughs> Didn't have carnival games, I was... Rebecca, this was like out of here. from the Wii's launch for like the first six months before it became clear that the shovelware <laughs> issue. We have to save that for later. Let's get moving. I didn't play all of this for long enough to be able to really judge it. This way, we can radio Brad for help. It's cool that Rebecca was here the whole time. It seems to imply they're going to do something with her in a future game. Yeah, I could hear that. So did, uh, what was it, Chibi Robo? I don't know if I actually played that one or not. Persistent one, isn't he? We've got nowhere to run. We didn't come this far to die now. We need to take him out. It's not working. It must have a weakness. What is it? Is it maybe its giant heart? Maybe it's its giant heart. I'm just gonna take a wild guess there. They give you so many herbs in this fight, that's awesome. Chris, Jill, are you okay? I feel like they're telling me something. So I tried. The shotgun is not the gun we want in this fight. Brad, you want to throw me a rocket launcher? Ah, 
did not press that in time. Oof. I think I probably had to shoot him in the heart enough time to get him to drop me or something. Let's try again. Night Raker. Sweet, this is his feelings. He wears his heart on his outside. Persistent one, isn't he? We've got nowhere to run. We didn't come this far to die now. We need to take him out. It's not working. It must have a weakness. What is it? Chris, have you considered guessing? Okay, bad reload cycles. Attack, I don't know if I could have dodged. The crouch one I could have, but... Well, that was pretty cool. Flying jump slam. Oh, I gotta that side. Nice. Lucky grenade. So uh, four shots, that's cool. Thanks, Brad. Good looking out. Some people say Nemesis is hard for three sizes that day. The best close radio weapon. Totally safe. No danger whatsoever. But then we went back to the mansion in the Resident Evil 5 DLC. It was near daybreak on July 25th when the incident at the mansion drew to a close. Except for Chris and a few others, the RPD stars were wiped out. All of the evidence of the event had vanished with the destruction of the mansion. For a brief moment, the Wesker is kind of Morgan Freeman of coming death. However, this too was part of the plan. Of fucking course it was. No Everything was part of the plan. But I had been reborn. Okay, so there's not multiple Weskers. I cast Weskers. off my frail humanity and became something greater. <laughs> This too was according to Blair. Like, really? I think what he means to say is that we made the best of a bad situation, not like we literally planned for that to happen. Now I have a rocket launcher. Oh. Nemesis? You didn't really play as Carlos in that game, but okay. This is the one that was originally supposed to be a spin-off. Assault shotgun. And then the one that was supposed to be a spin-off became a main series title, and the one that was supposed to be the main title became a spin-off. Raccoon City was a town under the thumb of Umbrella. The virus washed over the city like a tidal wave. And in its I'm interested way, to see when they do the RE3 the remake. The RE2 remake was so good. Creatures. Imagine Umbrella Nemesis would be super scary. It's all but confirmed from Capcom that they're doing that, right? Military, the UBCS security force. Jill Valentine, a member of STARS, finds herself still trapped in the nightmare she thought she left behind with the mansion incident. 
the two remake was great. I think like the Resident Evil 1 and 2 remakes are some of the best remakes in the history of video games, along with like Metroid Zero Mission. Foreshadowing Jill's Matrix no! nonsense and RE5. Hey, thanks, Carlos. I guess this is the only one we haven't seen new graphics from, so... You okay? I'm fine. That's some good shooting. We've got to get out of here. A rescue chopper's on its way. Come with me. No, Carlos, you should come with Jill. This is already pretty different from the first two scenarios, which is cool. Zero and one are both a lot of, like, tight corridors. It's kind of cool that through an adaptation they were able to... Like, still make a challenging game out of it. I feel like in the RE1 remake they nailed that by having things... ...jump scare you around corners. The name's Jill Valentine. Stars. No Stars. So you're pretty elite, then. And you are? I'm Carlos, Corporal Carlos Oliveira. I've been using a gun since I was a kid. Take that! So you're safe as long as you stick with me. What was that break? That's one I haven't heard of. Is it a arcade game or something? So far, it looks inspired by Resident Evil 3, but like the levels in the 0 and 1 were. looked like they were like shot for shot. Oh, they can throw up at me? No range attacks, please. That is not cool. Not a fan. Cool. Fortunately, they installed exploding barrels in the city of Raccoon. Every construction company has a couple of fucking dogs. Great. It's gonna be right behind me, isn't it? Top five worst enemies. Resident Evil, well, just dogs in general in any game. Medusa heads. Dogs in Dark Souls are the worst, too. What are the purpose of barrels that don't explode? You raise a good point. I like how we're just noping out. I thought I got the interrupt there, I guess not. Take that. Gets me some free damage. Just hoping those guys would be a little bit closer to me. Oh man, I, I, wasn't, I didn't waggle enough. They only did 80% of the waggle that they expected. There's a crit for once. Something's over there. It's a bunch of fucking Down there. angry Down there. ravens.
can I? Oh, you can't blow up those lights. I'm like, why isn't this working? Look before. So rude. I know when Nemesis first shows up. It had those weird like choices. I was starting to wonder if the lights could still be shut out in this one. Fucking great. What's with all these webs? What could be creating them? This entire town must wonder if the big worm is gonna be in this. Yeah man, Carlos, you're lucky you're a protagonist. Inoculates you from the virus. I think this is close to where we ran into him. It was near the police station, I thought. All right, shooting barrels, paying off. I keep throwing those, thinking that I'm actually having to fight those enemies. Walk right through the fire. It'll be fine. We'll have to double back. Opportunity there for a second, but Like their glowing eyes attack. All right. There's no end to them. different tone in this one. There's already way more zombies in this than there were in Resident Evil 1 or 0, but I feel like Nemesis had big armies of them like this. They're giving you more ammo as a result, which is nice. Dick. supposed to be zombified too or they're just like ravens or just dicks nicely ah. tasered To go. So we've had two retcons so far. So I like the one with uh, Rebecca. I like that they got rid of weird leech Sephiroth guy. 
They must be zombies. It's like, what is that big orange thing in the distance? Like a casino? Ah, oh, I guess I wasn't fast enough. Glad I kept reloading during that animation. That makes sense. It's a truck. Nope. And then I got hit by a truck and fucking died. But I first aid sprayed myself? Or they're like, no, no, no. You can't first aid spray your way out of that. Okay. <laughs> oh, QTEs. What an era. Oh shit, that's sending me way back. That sucks. For not pressing the B button. <laughs> right? just blow up the car. That makes more sense. No, blow up your cover. Bummer. Nope, that didn't help. Nope, it was late on that one, apparently. Probably gonna be a different prop this time. Okay, it gave it to me. Man, that makes me glad we're not on the emulator because I could not do waggle QTE commands. And if it sent us back that far every time, I'm really glad we just bailed out and started over. Great. Are we all just like in the truck? Hanging out in the back of the truck. Take that. Ah. All right, multiple hits. Once their eyes are glowing, there's no counterattack. Okay. 
Unless if you shoot them in the head while they're doing it. There's gonna be a er, right after this, isn't there? Zapata beer. There's a healing item. Can we not have hunters? Oh, that's a cool song. So we've already diverged quite a bit from Resident Evil 3. Shoot their puke out of the air. Makes perfect sense. So when we get the RE3 remake, that'll be the first time we've ever seen the RE3 done. Watching a walk through some outbreak levels that connect weirdly. I wonder why they chose to do that. Can't imagine it saved them that much work, right? They can't really have Nemesis stalking you the whole time. It's not really set up to have bosses like that in a real shooter. I keep trying to fish for a crit, but it just doesn't happen. Ooh, there it is. I guess it's just because I like paused for a split second before shooting. Hunters, man. At least they die in like one tenth the shots they die in in the actual game. But I don't remember, were there hunters in Nemesis? I don't remember what the unique enemies were from Nemesis. Two hits, Rue. Take that. Ah. Show him, Jill. Dogs, great. Fucking great. I can't believe I did that without getting hit. Too late. Perfect. And I'm fine. There's no danger to me in doing that. Okay, I think I've got a better handle on what you're supposed to do to get headshot crits. I think you're supposed to hover over their head and then tap and hope that it turned red. Just through chance.
So they change in the story in the RE2 remake. Set up eight of wands slightly better. Two remakes gameplay. Are you with Umbrella? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we left. What does their payroll look save like? Us. It's Umbrella's the mercenaries? fault that all of this happened in the first place. Hey, hey, easy. I thought they made like Advil. Just a hired gun. Oh, it's the big worm. Grill me later. Come on. I guess I could end this with Nemesis. I bet it's not so hard inside. You think so? Chris can punch boulders, Jill can shoot rocks. moving very slowly through the air, which I appreciate. It would be really hard if they moved at full speed. Yeah, pretty normal real shooter stuff. Which makes sense if they had to make this as a brand new boss. Well, that sucks. They've managed to avoid weird, slow-moving, on-the-nose projectiles so far. I guess the implication is that, like, the boss knocked it out of the in the air when it came out of the hole. Stop using the shotgun. It's not great. Oh, 
Oh, cool. Blow up the car before it hits us. <laughs> I feel like that's what they wanted me to do. Let's try it again. I probably needed to have a better gun to be able to blow it up in time. This is where we had a dodge prompt last time. Bunch of shards in the middle. That's a good question. my good ammo in this basically here. That's why I died last time. So where did we go? Dodge that time. Switching guns is hard. I need like a press for pistol button. <laughs> I just fucking obliterated in midair. It's great. Not doable with a pistol, it seems like. <laughs> pretty standard rail shooter stuff, right? I think it's meant to be pretty cheesy. Yes, reload and don't let me switch guns. Thank you. Oh god, Jesus Christ. First try. <laughs> Disintegrate the car with my submachine gun. It's a thing to do. It's more interesting than just shooting slow-moving targets all the time, having some projectiles. But like shooting puke out of the air. This is definitely sillier than the previous episodes. I guess you had to shoot the plant goop out of the air too. They were super happy to have the leeches in uh, Resident Evil Zero. Deflected the car. Less ammo capacity, more firepower. Actually, really like the damage on the assault shotgun.
parachute downwards. <laughs> Propel yourself further away from the car. Let's try flying as Carlos. I don't think it actually matters. Like, I, don't, I think it does nothing. Maybe it changes the guns you can start with or something? Jill and Carlos hurried to the police station where the rescue helicopter would arrive. Look out for the helicopter. Helicopters don't do well in this universe. So he was doomed to annihilation and there were no discernible routes out of the forsaken town. Yeah, it's just like what name is displayed in the top left corner. I really didn't know Umbrella was behind this. We have to let the world know what happened. Yeah. But first, we have to make it out. Well, there of is a different alive. counter animation. That's true. To get to the police station. Pretty cool music. Yeah, umbrellas behind everything. This can't be. Okay, yeah, so it's like a very specific way of shooting, spacing your shots and keeping your cursor on their head and hoping you get a random crit pop up. Maybe we can use an explosion to our advantage. You think so? Oh, Jill, you so silly. Well, I didn't mean to do that. That was a waste. I was trying to pick up that thing and shoot at the same time. It's fine. What developer makes House of the Dead? The only one I've played is Typing of the Dead. Oops. Bathroom floor herb is probably pretty good for you. See, so you get zombified quick if you're not a protagonist. Very cool. Still zombie bitten, it's still good, it's still good. Sega? Okay. House of the Dead started as an arcade game? I probably played it in an arcade, but there's so many like arcade light gun games that are interchangeable. Train. Yeah, a ghost train. Something's not right. Spooky ghost train. Great. A short circuit. Well we'll just have to be that much more careful. Shoot out the one light? No. Doggos! Everyone's favorite. This looks like QTE. Nope. I got a light. Take it. Thanks. Be careful where you walk. I will. Oh, wow. That's cool. Look at the polygons on the light. It's less noticeable here. It's kind of a cool twist, though. Person that doesn't use a consumable resource in his counterattack animation, apparently. acting in uh, Typing the Dead appeared to be bad on purpose.
Looks like dog headshots are always critical. There's no random roll with them. Ah, son of a bitch. Thought I was closer on the weapon switch there. My bad. Go back to the dog cutscene. Whoa. This is all the way to the beginning. I must have been really close to a checkpoint. That sucks. Oh well. This can't be good. I'm gonna conserve my special ammo. For a little bit at least. Advantage. Yeah, speed's what it is. I must have been like very close to another checkpoint there. I guess I like a knife while reloading, that's good to know. It might have saved me in the past. Not right. I mean, great. It's shut so down. Well, we'll just have to be that much more careful. All right. QTE. So I can always be waggling, right? Because it's never any risk to waggling. Hey. A B W. I got a light. Take it. Thanks. Be careful where you walk. I will. It's like it looks bad on this wall, and it looks fine after that. Switch guns from the screen. That'll do. They're not real entities yet. Carlos just gets up like, nah. I think grenades in this game are closer to like screen clears or something like Gradius. 
This is a cool sequence with the flashlight, though. I dig it. I keep thinking Plagas are going to pop out of their heads when I headshot them. Yes, wonderful. Jump straight down here. These must have been the passengers. They were. They're not human anymore. Can't blow up that bench, I guess. are the worst. The music down here is really cool. So I think when it flashes, like it does that film negative thing, that means it's a QTE. I didn't realize there was a tell for it. That was the checkpoint. Well, that was a checkpoint. Oh, fucking great! Fucking wonderful. Can there not? They're like little baby lickers. So far, I think I like the music in this act the best. Wonderful. You know, in Resident Evil 5, this meant stop fighting them. Just hide. So this one's an outbreak level as well. I thought there was a pickup over here somewhere. Oh, that's a cool way to give them a ranged attack. I think that's what it was. Shotgun. Everything in this scenario is from Outbreak. Outbreak must have looked different from this game though, right? These are our leech substitutes. Oh, it was also first person like this? Really? Oops. Just threw another grenade on accident. Trying to make shooting and knifing. They have a tell for the lick attack, it's nice. cameras in the same universe. Oh, okay, I see. Fixed camera like like Code Veronica. Okay. I had a big can of bug spray. Guess we'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> so 
said to the man running the stand, Hey, got any grapes? Then he waggled away. Whoa! No hunters, please. No me gusta. Jesus. At least this thing reloads like instantly. Yeah, if you just had the pistol in here, you'd be in trouble. It's a cool way to accelerate the difficulty in this. Pretty big groups. I feel trapped like a rat. Spooky scary. Haven't they had enough? I do like the thump thump yeah. of them running up behind you. It's pretty cool. This works pretty well with uh, headphones. Jill is the hero, but you know, whatever. How will anything happen to you? We're done for. Yeah, C's get degrees. Really need to be destroying more objects, apparently. I guess you take a pretty big hit to clear time if you're trying to hunt for crits. Might have enough to upgrade the other gun. No, I only have one. It's far short of enough. This is their blood type. That's very Japanese, isn't it? Blood type has some kind of bizarre predictive power, like the horoscope in Japan. their way through an underground tunnel, Jill and Carlos finally reach police station, climb to the roof, waited for the arrival of the rescue helicopter. That helicopter is fucked. Someone, something had been observing their progress. What? Nani? All right, I'll hurry up. And that's why we jumped Listen, to the police station because they had to model this dawn, separately. This town is going to be destroyed by a missile. They're going to wipe out the town. We don't have much time. I like that Let's they move. subtitled her incredulous gasp as exclamation point question mark. We have to get to the roof. Come on. This way. I don't think we'll make it through there. What now? But you're okay with this? Apparently. That one guy in the bag is like, uh, sorry. I hope this was the other hallway. Oh, great. Is he going to say stars? Stars. Okay, they made him sound a little bit more threatening than Nemesis. 
I'm interested to see how the remake's gonna handle that. I always thought that was really funny. I like his reaction to being shot. It's very Hollywood monster no cell, right? Be careful. Hey Ben. Ben I can't Ben I can't see. Ben if you stand in front of the sensor on the Wii mode, I can't shoot. Oh my god, Ben. QTE time, if I understood that correctly. And this music also is the QTE music, I think. Start waggling. <sighs> Shit. And then we all died. Live action movie voice. Let's see how far back that sets us here. Oh, that's not too bad. Let's see if I can save my ammo this time. We have to find some way to stop him. I don't think it matters how much lead we pump into. There's no health bar. It means that doesn't matter. Be careful. We need to find something with a little more kick. We've got it now. All right. Shake constantly and hope it's a button that I can easily press. Hey. It was Carlos doing the dodging? Even though, okay, that's fine. He reacted to his own decision. Kind of got cut off at the end there, buddy. Now we're gonna be like, well, this is better than whatever that was. I don't know. It looks like he's after you. Lucky me. Was that a zombie? I've had to deal with something like that before. <laughs> what? Far away from it as possible. Oh, okay. I think what he meant was that was a strange, large monster. Does it? Is it in the same category as these things we're dealing with now? Not like he's confused by these things I'm dealing with here. That's what I thought he meant. There's... It's kind of a cool thing in a rail shooter when you have one of these sequences where you suddenly have to shoot things out of the sky. Like, the camera goes from wobbling to suddenly becoming completely fixed. Come on. Sort of a tell that you're about to enter a shoot the projectiles out of the air phase. But I didn't shoot it earlier. Now's our chance. They're here too. Persistent guy. Whoops. Be more careful about who you date. This is no time for jokes. Thanks, Carlos. Gross. Man, you are a stylish zombie. You just snaked right in here. It's pretty cool looking. Oh, thanks. Leon, I might try to do that. I want so badly for that thing to never pop up that I've never tried to look for something like that. I don't remember if we went to this part of the police station in... Nemesis. I thought it was mostly just the left side, and it was a slightly changed version of the left side.
Liquors aren't too bad in this so far. Cool, I'll set that up next time we play. I've gotten... He's back. Well, I like the shadow there, that was a nice stylistic choice. And then they have the the rail move before he comes into full view. We just have to wait for him to pass by. He yells the periods. That's gonna work. Hiding in the morgue. Brilliant plan. Let's just hide from in here. Don't make a noise. <laughs> Not that anyone ever hide in the crypts. So <sighs> Poor Where's Peter Dinklage, too. Anyway? He clearly said something and they were like, shut up. I hate dogs in video games. Unless if they let me pet them, then it's okay. That's funny. But there's a line like that earlier in Zero where like you're out on the balcony being attacked by the uh, baboons. And they're just having this calm conversation while it's, it's happening. This guy won't stop. Gotta admire his determination. Oh wow. Took that like a champ. Whoa. Right. I don't know if Carlos can fit through that. You see yeah. Way around. I know this city like the back of my hand. You'll have to give me a tour later. I like that, but I had a... I don't know. It felt... I had this feeling of like, is this okay? Oh, we got a character who's a dwarf. I know. Let's cast Peter Dinklage, who's literally a dwarf in real life. And it's like, uh, okay. But it's okay. We'll make him really big. I kind of like some of the other movies he was doing where they were just casting him independent of his dwarfism. Like, I, I guess he played a character in one of the X-Men movies that was probably bad, where it didn't matter and was not mentioned that he happened to be a dwarf. Like, clearly it was okay because Peter Dinklage took the role, right? But still, it just, like, it made me feel... You can imagine yourself in the boardroom at Disney, people coming up with that idea and everyone being like, yeah! I have seen Station Agent. Oops, I thought I had a shotgun. I do not. Yeah, but it's like, he's like a special space dwarf. Like, the meaning of dwarf in Norse mythology isn't the same as the meaning of, like, a dwarf, a person with dwarfism, right? That's the only reason it made me go, ooh, I don't know. I don't know if you've heard the story about Bruce Lee in the uh, movie Tower of Death, because he was friends with uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And he was like, so Tower of Death is this movie about a bunch of boss fights that Bruce Lee goes on. And on the top floor of this tower, the final boss fight is against Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And Bruce Lee tells him like, hey, so like, you're dark. So you must be weak against the light. It's a darkness and light thing. And Kareem's like, okay, man, whatever you say, dude. <laughs> right. Like, it, it feels like that to me. Like, it's fine, but my eyebrow shoots up a little bit.
Yeah, that's a line in the movie. What is the UBCS thinking? I'm too far down on the chain. Well, that sucks. I think it was the U.S. government that destroyed the entire town, though, right? Shit. Yeah, that's not a good room for me. Like, I think it came from a completely innocent place in the case of Bruce Lee. And probably also in the case of uh, Peter Dinklage in, in Endgame. But at the same time, it's just like, no one in the boardroom is like, hmm. Privately owned nukes. Something is very wrong. Umbrella seems to have unlimited power. Oh, great. Again? Now what? He's got a rocket launcher. You can't be serious. This guy's in <laughs> trouble. We need oh, to destroy geez. that weapon. How can we take that thing out? Can I grenade it? That would be nice. Oh, I can't fucking see whenever one of them explodes. Ah. Natural progression of the Second Amendment. There we go. Oh, he's doing the uh, I'm temporarily he down. He did. Are you kidding me? Take that. Shit. I like having two submachine guns. I can never remember which one has ammo. Oh, you were just hiding back there. That was cute. You can't actually get to me though, can you? Wasn't even on the floor, Carlos. Just kneeling. Not even he could survive that. Yeah, I have a feeling that the script for this game was written before it was actually, uh... It was written independently of the level design, right? Snow Crash is the internet one, right? Everyone has, uh, avatars. They're like in a cyberspace thing that's more important than reality. It's like the Matrix. Glad I didn't eat that back accident. This is the scary area where we run into Mr. X in Resident Evil 2. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's now happened twice. Did you notice it last time? Go back and watch the VOD. If you're watching on YouTube, rewind to when he showed up. They played Jill's line first, both times. That's super weird. Because Jill says, looks like it. And then he says, he survived that? Anyway. Just interesting. Can't shoot through him into the barrel. Shoot the drive. Perfect. The Wachowskis ripped off a couple things, right? They ripped off a couple uh, novels by the lady who wrote the Terminator books. I don't know if she ever got her comeuppance from Hollywood. There were a bunch of movies that ripped her off. And not just like homage, homage stuff, it was like stuff that was clearly pulled from her works. I wish I had all this ammo but for the submachine gun that I put all my points into. It's 
a cool little sequence. Nice. That was completely calculated and not just because the B button is the button I pressed to shoot. He dusted his shoulder off. from Snow Crash. We got one of these drops. I'm gonna die and have to start this over. I'm out of guns. This is where I'm in trouble, because I can't do the tentacles without taking damage, I don't think. And I won't be able to avoid damage with the... Uh... Oh no, keep shooting him, he's so close to dead. Look up. All right. <laughs> Value. Yeah. Avatar's a Hindu thing, right? You got this, Marstead. First try. There it My is. Carpal tunnel acted up from the uh, All those people. Hashtag bring back Carlos. city vanished from the map. However, not everything disappeared with the town's annihilation. The nightmare would continue over the next few years as the survivors fought on. I feel like it's not consistent with your PR, Wesker, to refer to it as a nightmare every time. I guess I don't know what PR phrase he would use to describe things like that. A, B. Situation. Oh, interesting. I guess I got stuff for the pre- I didn't know that those were actual levels. That's kind of cool. Albert Wesker. I get to play as Wesker? Oh my gosh. I can never lose. He's the most uh, optimistic person in history. Nothing ever goes wrong for him. Whenever things are at their worst, he's like, perfect. The plans perfect. to the management training facility were scrapped. By Marcus's unfortunate outburst. Not only that, but the incident appeared to spread the virus to the area surrounding the mansion, causing a biohazard <laughs> outbreak. Uh huh. Okay. It is time to Resident Evil Zero is connected. That is Umbrella. It's Birkin. The virus is out. We can't hide this anymore. It appears Umbrella is finished. Wait, so when did Wesker away? go from being a nerdy uh, scientist man? We can make a more powerful virus. Do what you like. 
The T-virus is near completion and only needs test data. That is why STARS is in place. I will bring them into the mansion. Are there are multiple voice actors for a character in a Tales game? Damn it! I've only ever played Symphonia. I better get rid of this place before there are any more complications. Hmm. Oh, really? I did not have a bonus DVD when we played Code Veronica. That's kind of cool. Wesker here. I will use the ropeway to return to the training facility and depart from there. I'm going to shoot all the lights out while I'm here. It's part of the mission. This theme is pretty sweet. I'm trying to fish for crets. Probably not the best idea. Oh, I remember this area. That's cool. The power is out. I need to get it running. The power room should be down below. Those guys might not be critical. I'm not sure. Was it an actual, like, gameplay sequence in Code Veronica, or was it like a cutscene? Grace. Wesker's like, this is fun. Yep, those are the spiders I installed. Guess I gotta put them down now. It's really amusing. I agree with you, this name. To restore the power. I can't open this door. I need to go find the key. Talking about like collecting cranks and shit. I think giant spiders are significantly less scary than regular spiders. I guess I say that from the comfort of a room that has no giant spiders in it, but. Thirty-minute movie. Let's go. Code Veronica felt like like it was the apocrypha. Like it was so weird. Some of the stuff with uh, the family history behind Umbrella was just like this is strange. But it was supposed to be the main series game, not Nemesis. Then they went full cheese in Resident Evil 4 and 5. Oh, he has a magnum, that's kind of cool. Wester's like, eh, that's enough of that. Okay, so I'm fishing for headshots, apparently. has to shoot these things. I forget if Wesker showed up in Resident Evil Zero. Oh yeah, I remember this room. Probably should have saved that healing item. <laughs> of 
course he did a rad pose immediately after pressing a few switches. Westro seemed like the kind of dude that would command bats. Like they would just listen to him. Like we're seeing it from the first person, so we're not seeing Westro go, ah, <laughs> get out of my hair. That was a lucky headshot. Those guys, to my recollection, cannot be crit. The ones with the body armor. Oh, never mind, I just crit one. Oh, we're getting crimson heads in his scenario, that's fun. There weren't any in the Resident Evil Zero scenario. Dog me. Hey, it's my friend. What's up, Jim? Huh. What do we have here? You were supposed to have been stopped up. The fact that he doesn't have uh, the health bar tells me I don't need to worry about it too much. Save my ammo then. It's the perfect organism. He has an enlarged heart, which serves as his weak point. Pathetic. and it's on the outside of his body. See, he's the perfect this room. refuse has T's recovery ability. Now he's got... This is supposed to show what a badass Wesker is and his bullets do more damage or something? <laughs> Like saying, you don't understand. Deterrence can only be achieved if the robot is bipedal. Bipedal. It's the perfect organism now. It's brittle. The BOW still needs a little more work. Maybe that's what they're employing. I wonder if. Uh, 
B-O-W is as used in real life as it is appears to be in Resident Evil. And then Wesker got on a train. We got the Magnum. I just mean that particular abbreviation that's used professionally. Or if that's an invention of Capcom. Bio weapon. Because I can't customize from the screen, that's fine. Wesker powered up the ropeway and reached the surface. He still had to escape through the training facility, teeming with BOWs, howling for blood. I had best hurry. That was fucking great. On my theory in a bottle. Yeah, right. Wesker is too cool to run. Is the difficulty in this game scale at all if you do it two player? Sure. What are you? Are you sure a health bar, possibly? I can see that making a difficulty scale a bit. They actually modeled that room. I was curious after the first part, but we didn't go there. Monkey hit stun animation. It's just meant to be creepy, I guess. Yeah, and then there's some spiders in the swimming pool. Spooky, right? Wesker's just noping out at the bed, but he's like, nah. Nah, fam. I'm good. Suck, you know? Screw you, bench. Stop panic aiming on those things. came out of literally nowhere. What is this, Resident Evil 4 and 5? 
just short of like them literally spawning in front of you. There's a submachine gun hidden behind that toolbox. Yes, jump down. Don't take advantage of your tactical position, Wesker. Oh, why didn't you grab me? Would it be rude or something? I like how they're managing to get some reuse out of their maps here, while still taking you to some slightly different places and having you encounter different enemies. I enjoy when games can reuse assets in a way that doesn't feel over the top. A lot of the time they should get more value out of their work, right? God, at least some zombies for Rebecca and uh, Billy. <laughs> what a cool guy. Oh, that Wesker. What a fella. Oh. Crimson heads, fucking great. Can we not? Oh, they don't insta die to a grenade, yikes. You can like head cannon that these were left behind by, uh, oh yeah. Wes was like, no, we're not doing that. in uh, the Resident Evil 5 DLC. That was such a cool DLC. It was so different from the base game. Oh shit. Go away! Leave me alone! Cool counterattack. This is before Wesker got Matrix teleporting powers. I think, is it implied that his ability to teleport is just that he's like really fast? I didn't think that a virus could like give you powers like that. But who knows in this series. Dragon Ball Z, where it's like, oh. His movements are too fast. The eye can barely follow them. Could be a magic virus. That would explain a lot. Renew. The game where the Resident Evil cast hates lights. Fuck. Where might you be going, comrade? The, what's with the dude with the, the Power Rangers helmet? The management training facility was your mission. And now you're just going to no, not yet, sir. Without taking responsibility for your failure. The T virus has escaped. I will detonate the facility and dispose of it. Comrade, don't forget who's in charge. Wait, that's like a... You can't just do what you feel like. Stop doing that, dude. That's weird. Maybe you You're gonna get an infection. Reminder. Oh, 
Okay, he doesn't have a helmet on. He just has a really weird headgear. I don't think he had, did he have a white robe in the cutscene? This dude is huge compared to Wesker. Maybe it's just the camera angles. Oh, it's that I'm on the ground. The guy duck. It's not that he's huge. Okay, that makes more sense. I shot you out of the air, you goof. I want that grenade launcher that's next to you. I wasn't able to get it. Maybe I'll make another pass there later. He's a big guy. Now, is there some, like, external material that explains who this dude is? Like, if you were following everything in Resident Evil, would you know who this guy would be? Not to do with the knife, but this particular... Like, Umbrella Android Man. Oh god, no. He's like a bobblehead. Shit, I missed it again. That's a bummer. He was so close. This should be intriguing. We'll waste the healing item this time, at least. Well, that's bad. <laughs> so I'll use the healing item now. It won't be any worse than last attempt. Man, that thing is like almost impossible to grab. I think I can turn to see it from here. Yeah, but like, in what game is that covered? But tyrants aren't just big, scary zombie monsters. They're actually based on Spooky Ultraman, who's an employee of Umbrella or something. Big Jango Fett, exactly. I can see how he was fighting like a tyrant. I guess he didn't like his lesson. <laughs> I kind of like this because it implies that there's the all this to take ridiculous shit going on in Wesker's Monday to Friday. <laughs> like for Umbrella. <laughs> oh, My pursuers left behind. I regrouped with the Stars Alpha team. There was no time for delays. Umbrella's command in structure this game? was in motion, okay. and the real struggle was about to begin. I kind of like it is not ex explained in the text of the, the playthrough, though, or just like, this is just what Wesker deals with. <laughs> Umbrella's command structure was in motion. <laughs> exactly as planned. This fucking guy. Alright. 
We'll keep. I don't know if this one spawns as much. It looks like it has way more ammo than the other one, even though it says it makes up for a drop in ammo. I guess maybe they mean ammo in the clip or something? Or the magazine, whatever the right word is. It's Rebecca in the mansion. Let's go. I'd rather have more total shots than more ammo per clip or whatever. After splitting up with Billy, I went to the mansion where Bravo Team was to rendezvous. When I arrived, I found that none of the others were there, and the mansion was unsettlingly quiet. I was exhausted from the events of the previous day, and before I knew it, I had drifted into a nightmare. Oh, like a literal nightmare. Okay. <gasps> this is kind of cool. You have a reason okay? to be afraid, though. That is a real snake. I'm fine. We were fighting some monster, and... Fighting is a word for it. Before it's dead. I see. So cool. It's not much better on my end, either. <laughs> attacked by those Sorry, Zero is a fever dream. It felt like it when I was playing I it. This see. feels really I see. weird. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Oh man, sir, we haven't been able to proc that in a minute. We just have to find Enrico. He kind of has polar express eyes, doesn't he? Do. <laughs> what a horrible first assignment, huh? First. We have to get to someplace safe. Where could the captain be? It's Enrico. I'm sure he's fine. Oh, he's perfectly fine. Seems like they like to give you the... We're not gonna comment on this? On this zombie? Okay, that was a thing. We didn't explore much of the residence before, so... Bees, look oh, out. fucking bees. Alright, go ahead and proc it. You don't get a chance to do it in every game. Now's the time. Yeah, like, under normal circumstances, I would be down with them not commenting on it, but she just established that, like... She got over the zombie thing and didn't expect them to be here. Yeah, if you go to marsted.com, you can see all the games we've played so far. There's YouTube playlists for all of them. It was on uh, one of our subscribers' subblocks for a while. It's also on the voting spreadsheet. It's a cool emote scarf. Do you kind of like the horror element of incentivizing you to shut the lights out? Oh, baby spiders, perfect. Are they actually not a threat? Okay, they jump eventually. Maybe you can clear the sequence faster if you shoot them or something.
think that's what they intended me to do. Got it. Lesson learned. This seems Spiders like are shooting a little baby spider with a bullet back. seems silly. Oh, more bees. This is nice because we skipped this area when we did the RE1 pass through in this game. Oh, Crimson Head! Who the fuck? You all just spawned there. Don't even pretend like you didn't. Oh yeah, this weird the cool captain puzzle. Might be here. At least we can stock up on supplies. Break the puzzle. So it doesn't work for Chris and Jill later. How does dodging work in Time Crisis? I don't know that I've played it. I guess dodging it is like you dodge by shooting too, right? They're really good at using the Crimson Heads as jump scares. Why is that bee so fucking far away? Use the pedal, push down on the pedal, you go out of cover. Oh, that's cool. Is there like a home version that includes a pedal as well? Or is that just in the arcade? Damn, they just you, coming. you don't shoot individual spiders either. What are you doing? You know what I'm doing. We're dead if we stay here. Mm -hmm. Huh. Webs. I wonder what made these. Appreciate that Resident Evil 4 like right. Let's go down, then. abstracted shotgun reloading. I was like, yeah, you'll put two shells in it, you'll be fine. That's all of them. Later, Blue Effects, good seeing you. We're gonna wrap here once we get to a save point. We started a little bit late because of capture card troubles. But... area runs at a crisp 20 frames per second, 15 frames per second. Oh, don't do that. Seriously, it's gross. I don't think I can one-shot this guy. Hey, I got it. Then we're gonna go through the rest of the caves, which is cool. That makes sense, they'd make that a restock location.
presumably zombie bats. The perfect organism. We should be able to get back above ground. Oh, finally. Shoot the typewriter. Better to give a prompt for it. I've seen a couple of them before. Probably had a shotgun hidden in it or something. Yeah. This is shootable highlights. Give me a lot of ammo here. They explode into like a it's like dust comes out of them. Don't spit on me, please. Fucking great. One of these days we'll get Medusa heads. Konami will give up and sell Castlevania to Capcom. I feel like Capcom could probably manage Konami's IPs. Dare to dream. Yeah, sounds like you shoot big groups of them, I guess. Much safer to just do this. This is grenaded. I got six of them. Yeah, walking past them would work even better. I agree. See, the protagonists would be too creeped out if there were spiders that they left alive behind them. It's a giant beam! I'm not supposed to fight yet, I don't think. Times I'm get caught by a dog in mid reload. Too damn high. I can shoot them, sort of. Shoot them until they're actually flying at your face, I think. There's too many. What can we do? Rebecca, hang on. We don't have a choice. We have to make a stand. Sorry, Victor. I'm on it. Good. Let's do this. How many are back there? Apparently, again, they're all the way over there. They can really fly at you, huh? All right, we're good. Everywhere. Rebecca, we're going in. 
The other place was filled with them too. It's easier to mount a defense in a building. There might be survivors. Cool. Good timing. Well, thanks folks. That'll be time for today. I'll let you guys know what's coming up. Looks like it's saved.